today we are taking a look at the Enigmatic 82 Overdrive Special from Universal Audio. How big can I get that? Enigmatic Overdrive Special. Yes, what is an Overdrive Special? Well, um, and what is an Enigmatic? It is the, I think it is the best representation of a Dumble, what I hear on records that Anor Dumbles, uh, in a box. I mean, it is pretty freaking awesome, man. Uh, it's it's so dumbly. Sometimes people go, it's a Dumble sound, and I hear it and I go, ugh, it's just a big, ugly mid-range sound. It's not that big, broad mid-range with a great attack and a big, full sound that Eric Johnson and Robin Ford and Steve Ray Vaughan and John Mayer and all of these guys, Joe Bonamassa, uh, that they use the Dumble for. Uh, I mean, can I keep going? Larry Carlton and um, uh, oh, um, Jackson Brown. Uh, so many. So it seems like Universal Audio called in all favors and got so many uh, examples of Dumbles that what that's that's what makes this really cool is it's not just an Dumble Overdrive special. It's like all of the mods, and that's what made the Dumble special. He customized the amps for the player, so one Dumble is not the same as another Dumble. And same as this, you could go in, change the stone, tone stacks. Of course, there's the, the rock jazz switch. Uh, then there's custom that has a like an FET front end as well as the mods, but you go into the software if you like, and you could change all kinds of stuff and sort of create your own custom Dumble, which is super cool. Uh, like all of these Universal Audio amp in a box pedals, you have your cabinets over here, uh, the three front panel ones without having to add more because you know there's more you could get, but it is uh, like a 112 uh, GB25, uh, 212, 65 watt, and uh, 212, looks like EV. Uh, my favorite is that 112. I think it just sounds the biggest. It sounds the most like Dumbly. Uh, and my biggest reference for that is always Robin Ford and maybe Eric Jensen, but uh, Robin Ford, he's my Dumble guy. Like the rest of the pedals in this line, they are true stereo, no MIDI. Hmm. One preset, so you get a preset, and then if you unpreset it, it's whatever you're left with on the dials. So if you love something, maybe you should write it down, I don't know. And then you can save presets to your app if you like. Um, and then here's something you should know as you're watching me turn knobs. When this switch is set to the center, it's the standard control layout, bass, middle, treble, overdrive, pre-gain, output. And when it goes up, you get to the alternate controls. There's an amazing sounding room sound now on this. So that's like reverb, but it's a room. Uh, a realistic room, not just like a sort of digital plate style room. Uh, it sounds really nice. Of course, it's Universal Audio. They know how to do that. Uh, there's the ratio, which is sort of the, the volume of the overdrive. Um, output is the same. Deep mid switch. So it's not a variable thing. It's either on or off, this deep mid. Uh, presence, which is presence. And then the bright switch also. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, it sounds great, especially the lead dumble tones, which are really hard to, to get. And like I said, I think this might be the best option for you if that is what you're looking for.
enjoy my tunes, I've got a new album out called Songs from the Noisy Kitchen. There are links below. You could get it down there. <laughs> When you turn overdrive all the way down, it turns off the overdrive, so now you're on the clean side.
like that they included all the cabs, and I love that you could just turn off all the cabs too if you got nothing there. Throw on your own IR. <laughs> So that is the enigmatic your Dumble in a Box from Universal Audio. I'll put some links below. Uh, and if you want to hear some of my music, there's some links below for that. Uh, I got IRs down there. Oh, I just kicked my camera. All right. On that note, we'll see you later.